Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, let's talk about road conditions because we've been faced with a 30% threat of a rain-snow mix around the region, and it did pop off even here in the Twin Ports. Got up this morning, headed to the class I teach at LSC, and uh, the windshield was iced over. But the icing was a little more prevalent further to the west, around the Brainerd Lakes areas where it was the heaviest, and some towns even got an inch and a half of snow, like Isle there, uh, not too far away from Mille Lacs. Uh, it's better in our neck of the woods, but if you are heading to the south and to the west overnight here tonight, you may run into some scattered slippery stretches, you know, once you get out of Carleton County to the south and over towards Aiken County to the west. The rest of us still doing pretty good right now, but we still have a 30% chance for this mix to continue till perhaps early tomorrow morning. So do watch out again if you have to make some kind of late night road trip here. Well, let's shift gears and talk about what's happening right now, early evening. It's 29 degrees at the airport in Duluth. 85% for the relative humidity and westerly, southwesterly winds are starting to gust up to 13 miles per hour. So after several days of calm winds, we're starting to get a little agitation in the atmosphere and that's a vague sign that off to the west, maybe northwest, there's some higher pressure threatening to finally push in, chase away the clouds and the precip chances and bring back the sun for more than five minutes at a shot. We can always hope. Well, right now, temperature wise, we have 26 waters meet, 30 in Ironwood, 31's from Ashland to Hayward and 32 towards Superior despite the blip of down to 28 there for Solon Springs. Low 30's towards Moose Lake, 28 to 32 degrees here on the North Shore. Iron Range numbers are in the upper 20's and border country perilously close to 30. This warm spell that's been with us for two more weeks, yeah, I do think it's going to stick around through Sunday and then start to fade away Monday and Tuesday. And of course, Sunday is still looking to be the grand climax of this warm spell with 40 possible, at least for the Twin Ports region in northwestern Wisconsin. Sunday may be a little bit cooler towards border country by a couple of degrees. Right now, Doppler map shows that some of that western and southwestern light snow and mix activity is trying to creep into Pine County here in Minnesota and up towards parts of Carleton County as well. And if you're not seeing any right now, you've got at least a slight chance of getting some here as the night goes on. Now as we get into Saturday, this low pressure system to our south will keep the clouds up region wide, but it should start to dry up for the UP, Wisconsin, and central Minnesota, though towards border country, I do think a mixed chance could linger longer during the day. Now moving to Sunday here, higher pressure from the northwest is going to try to take over and it's going to try to bring a sunnier sky to most towns, although up near border country on Sunday, the clouds may still try to stick despite the cloud crushing activity here of this high. And then as we go into next week here, well, then we're going to start to cool down, like I mentioned, thanks in part to that high advecting into our region. Low temps tomorrow morning, around 20 for Minnesota and about 25 for Wisconsin, Michigan. Weekend temperatures include uh, lower to mid 30s for Saturday on Wisconsin and Michigan side of the border and low to mid 30s as well for Minnesotans. Again, Saturday should be cloudy. Some towns should get some sunshine here though once we get into Sunday as I've been mentioning and that's gonna, again going to be a pretty warm day with highs near 40 and then the cool down begins. Cloudy and 25 on Monday and into the teens for Tuesday and Wednesday with overnight low temps here in the Twin Ports in the single digits. I have a feeling that towns away from the lake like Hayward, International Falls and Barris could go below. All right, well, I have a sledding party to go to oh, tomorrow. Really? Yes, a birthday party, so I'm excited. It looks like it's going to be a good day for it. Is it Louis' party? No, it's not. Okay. 50% <laughs> chance I was right. Yes, I was it was close. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Middle school.